What's up, guys? This is Chris, a.k.a. Sandy from Greece. Tell me about it, stud. And we are broadcasting live from the 13th, ironically, annual Halloween party at the Belasco Theater in downtown L.A. This is, and I'm not even joking, it is the largest LGBT party for Halloween anywhere in the United States of America. And we're broadcasting live from the carpet. We're going to talk to um, some amazing people. We're going to talk to the founders, the people who help put this event on. And if you're not familiar with halloween it actually goes to benefit LGBT organizations around the country. So stay tuned. Check out the article. Check out the video. And thank you guys for tuning in. All right, now Envious Design is obviously all over the backdrop behind us. Can you tell us a little bit about how you guys even got involved with this event in the first place? Absolutely. So last year was our first year to attend halloween -y. We were lucky enough to meet Fred and Jason, which are the guys who started this event. Uh, they actually started it out of their backyard 13 years ago, and it grew into this monumental, huge party that they donate 100% of the proceeds back to the Gay Men's Corps of Los Angeles. Not very many you know, organizations get all of the money back from a party like this, and it's just grown exponentially year by year. We obviously wanted to be a part of this because it's so amazing what they do for the community, and I love Halloween, so it was a perfect fit, and we had such a blast last year that I knew we had to be a part of it this year. How about you, Jay? Uh, you know, it's we give back a lot back home in Indy, and when we find something that we're truly passionate about, we can't help but jump in feet first, and uh, you know, when we met Fred and Jason and learned what they were doing here, we couldn't help ourselves but to jump in with them as much as as much as they let us. So we're excited to be here to help. Uh, for sure. Now, you mentioned Indy, Indianapolis, the Midwest, but you guys are out here in Beverly Hills. You have other locations throughout the country. Tell us a little bit about your company and the vision. Yeah, absolutely. So we started in Indianapolis, Indiana, and then we came out to Beverly Hills about three years ago. Been very well received out here, and we just actually opened a third office location in Chicago, Illinois. So very different markets. We're continuing to grow and change, and, and we've got a lot of opportunities at our plate right now uh, that I'm really excited about. We actually just signed uh, Route 66 Museum in California, which is a huge opportunity for the company. And it's just an amazing chance to get to show what we can do from a graphics design perspective and marketing. There's so many different things that are out on the West Coast that we don't really get to experience as much of in the Midwest. And I think it just really gets to showcase the type of talent that we have with the agency. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping to talk with Press Fast. You guys have a great time. We're here with Jonathan. He is the executive director of the Gay Men's Chorus here in Los Angeles, who is putting on this fabulous event. So first, thank you for putting this on. And what does this event mean to you? Well, this event is the best Halloween party in the world. It is so much fun. There's such great energy. The costumes are absolutely amazing. The creativity, the design, the theme. And everybody comes together and just has a great fun party. And, a, and, 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 and it is all for a remarkable, extraordinary cause which is a community and outreach programs for gay, gay men's chorus of Los Angeles. Absolutely. Now, how did you even get involved with the organization in the first place? Well, it's an interesting question. I spent 27 years uh, with Wells Fargo, where I was head of their foundation. And uh, about a year and a half ago, I heard about this job, and I thought, it's time for a change. And so look what happened to me. Now I'm in show business, and I love it. <laughs> Here we are. And what are you most looking forward to? What are you most looking forward to about tonight? Well, I'm looking forward to seeing so many friends and, and, and just being a part of something really special for our community that celebrates us, that celebrates this wonderful holiday that we've really adopted and taken over. And, uh, and as I said, all for a great cause. The thing about tonight is that with everything that's going on in the world, we need a break. Absolutely. And it's time for us to come together and smile and be in a room where there's love and friendship. And it's just a wonderful thing. Absolutely. We'll drink to that one. Well, thank you so much, Jonathan, for taking the time to speak with Press Pass. It's been an honor, and we're looking forward to tonight as well. More to come. Thanks a bunch. Thank you so much.